Uh, welcome back guys. Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be reviewing all of the selectors that we have learned. It's been a lot. Um, I know it's been a lot, but you know, you can go ahead and go through the previous videos. If you're still unsure about something, let me know down below, but I'm going to try to review as much as I can. So throughout this lesson, you've learned how to select HTML elements with CSS and apply styles to them. So let's review everything that we've learned. CSS can select HTML elements by type, class, ID, and attribute. All elements can be selected using the universal selector. And elements can have different states using the pseudo class selector. So let's go here. So this is the universal selector. This is a type selector. If you just have a, you know, if it's just H1 or it's P, it's just selecting the type. This is selecting the class. If you have a dot title, dot uppercase, that's selecting the class. And then you have the dot article or the hashtag article, the hashtag uh, targets, I believe. Let me see pretty sure the, that is ID yeah so the hashtag targets the ID and then these are the pseudo selectors uh, the pseudo class selectors I believe and then let's see yep yeah M multiple CSS can be applied to one HTML element Classes can be reusable, while IDs can only be used once. And then IDs are more specific than classes, and classes are more specific than type. That means that IDs will override any styles from the class, and classes will override any styles from type. So the hierarchy goes ID, class, and type. So ID will get precedence, then class, then type. So multiple selectors can be changed together to select an element. This raises the specificity, but can be necessary. Nested elements can be selected by, separ by separating selectors with a space, and then multiple unrelated selectors can receive the same styles by um, separating the selector names with the commas. And yeah, let's go ahead and look at how we can use this knowledge to advance our careers and making you know websites more beautiful. Again, this website, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this website does not look nice at all. But you know, like we're just learning, so it's not a very big deal now. But yeah, that's gonna end your video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you did enjoy this, please consider subscribing. And yeah, have a really great day.